Hello and welcome to another Wondershare Recovery video. In today's video, I'll be addressing a familiar issue that many of us encounter. And that is the issue of cannot delete files error. If you have ever tried to tidy up your computer, but you were met with that stubborn message, this file cannot be deleted, then you should know just how annoying it can be. You will start having thoughts like, why on earth would I not be able to delete a file that I installed on my computer? But before we dive into the details on how to resolve this issue, kindly hit the like button. And of course, please click on the subscribe button as well. But now, without further ado, let's fix these issues. There are tons of reasons why you might be met with the cannot delete file message. So I have handpicked the four main reasons for such an error to occur. Reason one, the file you are trying to delete is actually in use. A common source of the cannot delete file error is when the file is being used by another program or process. There is a possibility that it's currently open in another application or it could be stuck in a pending deletion status. Reason two, access to the file is denied. When a file system becomes corrupted, it can result in access being denied, which in turn makes it impossible to delete. If you find yourself in this situation, it is important to tackle the root causes of the file system problems. Reason three, the file name includes invalid characters such as spaces. Sometimes the issue of being unable to delete a file occurs due to the presence of invalid characters such as spaces in the file name. For example, if you're having trouble finding a file called text.text .text and it seems to be missing, it's possible that there is an additional space before the file name. So understanding these potential reasons for the cannot delete file error is actually the first step towards solving it. And now that you know some of the possible causes, I will show you how you can fix the problem with some quick and easy clicks. I have chosen four effective methods that can help you overcome this rather frustrating challenge. If you've made several attempts to delete a file or folder, but keep running into errors, it may be necessary to settle for the option of deleting the file with force. And yes, you can do that. The best part is that this method is especially handy when the file is currently being used or is open in another program. You can do this by following these simple steps. First of all, begin by opening the task manager on your PC. You can quickly access it by pressing Control, Shift and Escape. Now in the task manager, locate and identify the application that is using the file you wish to delete. Right click on it and then select End Task. Once you've ended the task, try deleting the file again. You'll likely find it much easier to do so. The command prompt, also known as CMD, is a powerful tool that can assist you in resolving a range of system issues, such as difficulties with deleting files. Deleting files and folders can be done in a more efficient manner, and all you need to do is to follow the steps I'm about to show you. Launch the run command by pressing the Windows and R key, then type CMD to open the command prompt. Alternatively, you can type command prompt in the search box and then run it as an administrator. In the command prompt window, use the del command, followed by the file or folder location that you wish to delete. For example, you can type del space capital C colon backslash users backslash john backslash desktop backslash text dot txt to delete this specific file. If you come across a file that is locked and can't be deleted using regular methods, you can try using safe mode to unlock and delete it. This method becomes especially handy when a basic restart fails to resolve the problem. And to do this, all you need to do is to follow four simple steps. Via the Windows icon on your desktop, access settings. Then navigate to System, and then Recovery. 
Now click Restart Now under Advanced Startup. In the Advanced Startup options, choose Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Settings. As the Startup Settings menu appears, press F4 on your keyboard to enable Safe Mode. And then in Safe Mode, use File Explorer to locate and then delete the locked files. Once completed, just now restart your device as normal. Sometimes when using Windows, disk errors can be the main reason why you encounter the annoying issue of being unable to delete a file. When your computer's files become corrupted, it can lead to viruses that can harm your PC. To tackle these problems, one effective solution is to scan your disk for bad sectors. And how do you do that? Well, I'll now show you. First begin by opening the command prompt. You can do this by using the search box on the taskbar and then selecting run as administrator. Now input the following command. hk dsk space capital C colon backslash forward slash f forward slash r forward slash x. This command will initiate a scan of your computer's disk for any errors and then attempt to repair them all within a few minutes. By following these methods, you can effectively tackle the cannot delete file problem and restore smooth file management on your Windows system. They can be quite effective in resolving the issue. However, there are instances where the entire situation can be excruciating and frustrating, leading to the accidental deletion of the wrong file. In cases like this though, I just go to Wondershare Recover It. It is easily the most effective recovery app on the market today. Without wasting your time, I will now show you how to use the Wondershare Recover It software to quickly recover deleted files. The process is fast and easy. In fact, it only takes three steps. First things first, you need to download and install Wondershare Recover It. Once it's installed, the program will launch automatically. Then on the home interface, you'll see the available devices and hard disks that you can select to start the recovery process. Next, you will need to initiate the scanning process. And all you need to do is to click on the start button. And then the software will begin scanning your device within a matter of minutes. Once the scanning is complete, you'll be presented with a list of recovered files. But before you save them, I strongly recommend that you take your time to preview the files and ensure that they are indeed the ones that you wish to recover. After previewing, select the files that you wish to retrieve and then simply click on the recover button. By following these three straightforward steps, you can recover files that were accidentally deleted, ensuring your important data is not lost forever. Wondershare Recover It is equipped with advanced algorithms and technology such as DeepScan and SmartScan, making it a powerful solution for data recovery. And that's it for today's video, but thank you for watching! If you did find this video helpful, then please take a moment to hit that like button. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more useful as well as informative content.